Hey, good morning, church. It is Wednesday, August the 28th. Our scripture reading for today is Jeremiah chapters 49 and 50. Pray with me, please. Holy Father, we love you and thank you for all that you do for us. We pray for your strength today. We pray for your guidance through your word. Help us to understand it. Father, help us to do what your word says that we should do, to love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Thank you, Father, for that in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Uh, it's going to be kind of a short one today because we're, what we're dealing with is the pronouncements of judgment on different countries, uh, different peoples. So in chapter 49, the Lord pronounces judgment on the Ammonites. The Ammonites were descendants of Lot uh, by his daughters. Uh, of course, you, I think it's uh, Genesis ch uh, chapter 19, somewhere in that area right there where it tells the story of Lot. Uh, and his descendants there. Uh, the Lord also pronounces judgment on Edom. Edom are the descendants or were the descendants of Esau, Jacob's brother Esau. Damascus was the capital city of the Aramean kingdom and a longtime enemy of Israel. He also pronounces judgment on Kedar and Hazor, and the, these were Arabian people, descendants of Ishmael. And then finally of Elam. And um, you can go back and, and search if you have a search engine on your, um, your Bible app uh, and find out a little bit more about Elam. He was a, a descendant of Noah. And um, I believe Shem was his father. But anyway, a peoples, the peoples that came from him. All right, so in, in chapter 50, Judgment on Babylon. The greatest kingdom in the world at that time would be overthrown. Its downfall began when Cyrus and the Persians took control of the city in 539 BC. He issued a decree allowing the Israelites to return to Jerusalem. Okay, this should be a reminder to us that God is in control. He exalts and brings low whom He wishes according to His purposes. The United States of America is not so powerful that the Lord can't bring us to our knees. Let's pray for our nation, asking for revival and obedience to Him. The thought for today is God will hear the prayer of any repentant sinner. And Christ is revealed as the Redeemer who pleads our cause. Blessed and extolled. Uh, blessed means praised and extolled and thanked be the Lord God of Israel for he hath visited and redeemed his people it is Christ who is even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession for us Romans 8 34 God bless you have a good day